Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a whirlpool transition between two videos in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a whirlpool transition between two videos in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video and I've overlapped both my videos by one second on the timeline as you can see right here. Now the first thing which you need to do to apply a whirlpool transition between these two videos is double click on the first demo video and then go to video effects, go to transforms, select distort and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of this distort effect is the entire duration of my first demo video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of this distort effect to just one second. So inside the duration option write 01.000 and then press enter. Now place this distort effect at the end of the first demo video like this. Perfect. Now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently faceted glass is selected. So click on this drop down list and select whirlpool. Inside angle delta currently the value is 0 0.03 degree. So first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you get two values to fill. And now write the values 0, semicolon, 5 and then press enter. Perfect. Now next what we will do is we will apply a fade out effect. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade out and then click on OK. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline. And now double click on the second demo video and once again we will go to video effects go to transforms select distort and then click on ok now currently the duration of this distort effect is the entire duration of my second demo video which is 9 seconds 266 milliseconds so i would like to reduce the duration of this distort effect to just one second so inside the duration option write 01.000 and then press enter and i would like to place this distort effect at the beginning of the video so it is already placed at the beginning so that's fine now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window type is already set to whirlpool so that's fine inside angle delta currently the values are 0 semicolon 5 so what you need to do is you need to reverse the values. So instead of 0 semicolon 5, you need to write 5 semicolon 0 and then press enter. Perfect. And finally, what we will do is we will add a fade in effect. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and then click on OK. And that's it. So now if I just quickly play the video for you. Watch the whirlpool transition when the cursor moves from the first video to the second video. Perfect. Let me just show this to you once again. So this is how you can apply a whirlpool transition between two videos in VSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.